you know you're a redneck when you're making an applying cob. Edith, well, they're I, digging a hole in their yard. Off of our property. And you see how clunky it is. So what we do is we just soak it in water for 24 hours and then that helps keep those chunks out. Basically what I'm doing is I'm just kind of grinding it into kind of almost a sawdust kind of a feel. Isn't hay for horses? I'm sure it's easier to get it up on those walls. I'm chopping up the hay. So I'd rather use a 36 inch chainsaw. A piece of metal, sharpen the ends and welded it onto a pole and just attach it onto the drill and it spins. Hardly any comes out. Awesome. Awesome. You can use the mixer to mix some cod. Help me lift it and then put it in the thing. Isn't that just dirt? We'll fill half this bucket up with sand. If they's as real rednecks, they'd be using their feet. Well, you know what that looks like. Uh, I better not say. The finished product. Look, honey, they got dirt walls. The cob from the previous day we let down. So here's the tools I'm using. Garen made this cob on the platform. Well, I'll be doggone. That sticks like grandma's muffins to the roof of my mouth. And it just kind of blends into the previous days. All right. Looks like an excuse to play in the mud to me. Putting mud up like up in here because there was, there was big gaps. It was kind of filling it up and smoothing it over. That's about as hard as Uncle Billy Bob's head. Happy cobbling, people. Hey, Edith, uh, suppose we could do that here around the house, maybe.